and luckily I I'm just gonna rush through the next two games because there's only a few songs in each soundtrack that I really like. And the next one is Metamorphic Force. Um, some people actually might recognize this one. Uh, because Ben Sai did a, a review of it. Uh, I do not recall that one. It Metamorphic was a Force. long time ago. A lo long time ago. Um, during his YouTube era, I think it was. Oh, I didn't, I didn't watch him then, so that's probably why I didn't No, uh, you can check out his profile. On, they're still there. Uh, but I can warn you right now that his audio is absolutely horrible in that uh, video. Uh, but yeah, he checked. Uh, he actually reviewed it, and it's an awesome game where you're like all the four of these guys, and you can turn into animals and beat up other animals. <clears throat> yeah. Mm, <I> okay. <laughs> okay, that sounds perfectly normal. Um, there are two songs I want you to check out on this one as well, and that's the ruins of Bakyaros. Bakyaros. I don't know how to pronounce that. The ruins of Bakyaros and um, Freezing Ground. Yeah, those two songs are awesome. Check them out; they're cool. And finally, I'm gonna mention a fourth game, which is Monster Maulers. Um. It's yeah, it's a strange game. It's beat em up while at the same time not. It's a fighting game. Uh, so it's sort of a strange mix between the two. So is it like a, a fighting game where you fight a bunch of guys at once? or? It happens. Uh, some stages you only fight the boss. And other stages you fight a mid-boss and then you fight the real boss. And then other stages you beat up a lot of guys at the same time. So it's sort of a mix between fighting game and beat em ups. Um, oh, okay. for, it was called Kyoku, Kyokuku Sentai Dadadan in Japanese, and it's definitely sort of a parody on Sentai, which is the Japanese original of Power Rangers. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Super Sentai stuff. Yeah, yeah uh, so there's sort of a parody thing going through here, and all of the bosses are apparently, or not all of them, but a lot of the bosses are taken from uh, Gradius and Salamander, and those two shoot 'em up games. Uh, so they definitely have a strong resemblance to those, which is cool. But uh, the uh, intro theme here, which is called Kyokuku Sentai Dadadan, I think it is, uh, which is their theme song, is absolutely hilarious. I laugh every time I listen to it. It's in Japanese, and I don't understand Japanese, but so if I laugh, I mean, it has to be funny. <laughs> I think what they're saying is really hilarious. Yeah, I mean, if I'm laughing, and then imagine how much Japanese people laugh. Yeah. Uh, the entire game is in Japanese, except for the text, which is written in English. But every They actually talk, but it's in Japanese, so you're like sitting there going, What the hell are they saying? So they didn't subtitle it? No, they didn't subtitle it. It's <laughs> really could... annoying. So it's got text in English, but they don't subtitle the Japanese. No, so they're like, okay. yeah, stage one, and then they call the stage one something cool, and then they're like, it's talking in Japanese, and you're like, what? I feel like I'm missing something here. Uh, luckily the game isn't very, you know, heavy on the dialogue, but yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much it for me with my soundtracks. I took a little bit longer time than, uh, Chiron, but yeah, those are my picks for today anyway. Uh, check them out. I definitely suggest it. Though they, they sound very interesting. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to look up these games, because... Especially that Cadillac and Dinosaurs, that intrigues me. Oh my god, it is awesome. I played it as a kid uh, the first time, and I was like, what the hell was that game when I grew up? Because I lost the game. And I was like, what the hell was that game called? I don't remember. It was something about dinosaurs and you get to punch them. But I, you know, I pretty much scoured the SNES library because I thought like, yeah, I played it. It has to be on the SNES then. Uh, so I looked everywhere for it, but then by like pure chance, I just ran across it and I was like, holy shit, I played that game. It's awesome. Uh, so yeah, check it out. I haven't seen the animated series, but I'm really itching to actually see it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's I, cool. Yeah, I also suggest uh, checking out Night Slashers. It's a hilarious game. Uh, with Dracula's in there, Frankenstein's monster and everything. So it's sort of like a take on... Castlevania as well because all the bosses reappear. But you yeah, can have like, Grim Reaper. It's like fighting all the old uh, black and white, yeah, black and white monsters actually. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's hilarious. I love it. I play it over and over again. Uh, yeah, but anyway, we actually had a topic to discuss as well today, which is mine. 
and I want to talk about retro games. Uh, for those of you, for those of you out there who don't know what retro is, it's old games, <laughs> like Kingdom Hearts, right? No, no! <laughs> Damn you for saying that! God, I was so pissed off when I heard that. I was like, oh my god, this guy is writing retro reviews, and he chose Kingdom Hearts. And that game, it's not ten years old even. I mean, how old is that? It's like six or seven years old. How the hell can that be? That was last generation, for God's sake. That was the PS2. Yeah, it's a little... It's still a bit too young to be going retro. A little retro, bit. I, yeah. I barely call the PlayStation 1 things retro, although they're getting up there in age. But, I mean, yeah, that was... I was I got pissed off at that. That was... <laughs> oh, my God. That's why I had to bring it up. Yeah, I know. It was a good... It was a good way to, like, start talking about it as well. Uh, because I had a an, an completely different uh, segue into this, but never mind. Uh, we're, doing yeah, it, so we're doing it my way now. You're doing it. Hey, it's my show. Don't forget that. <laughs> Damn you, you're stealing my show. Uh, yeah, but uh, with the release of Fallout New Vegas, it was, of course, I bet there was a drove of people who went back and played all the old fa Fallout games. Uh, and that was sort of what got me into thinking about it, because I went back and played Fallout as well. The first game and I was just sitting there thinking about oh my god this game is so broken uh, and <laughs> yeah that's sort the, of... the, the early games were kind of if you knew how to trick them they became really easy yeah they, there's that but I mean every time people talk about retro games now it's like oh yeah it was so much better in the old days and then I'm sitting there playing Fallout and thinking wow I would much rather play New Vegas New Vegas is more fun uh, I mean, if you check Fallout, I mean, the inventory system in Fallout is absolutely terrible. It's atrocious. It's one of the worst in inventory uh, systems I've ever seen. With <laughs> exception for Ultima 6, maybe. But I haven't played that game, so I only have it on Hearsay. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I've played all the Fallouts, except I don't think I, I ever played Tactics. But um... Yeah, well, I've, I've, I'm going to play Tactics one of these days. <sighs> I don't Which, think I want to because it doesn't sound like something that I would actually like. But uh, nah. I've played one and two, and yeah, one for, one in particular, the inventory was really awful. <laughs> yeah, and I was sort of uh, the first when I was starting playing it again. I just like got out of the vault, and I ran smack into this random encounter, and random encounters can go to hell and die. Um, any game who uses that today is just fucking evil. Yeah, some of the, sometimes they would. Uh, there was a discussion about this actually about level scaling and stuff in games, and yeah, I think people were trying to say like Fallout Two had level scaling in it, and if it did, I must have missed it because there yeah. was a couple times like I'm starting out, and I just wandered into the wrong area, and oops, there's a bunch of guys in power armor. It's like what the <laughs> hell. Yeah, uh, it wasn't even that... It, I mean, I was just out of the vault, and I ran into this random encounter, and there were four rad scorpions surrounding me. And I mean, not like four paces away. They were right next to me. It's I'm funny, like, uh, funny that you didn't see them before they got that far. Yeah, that's really strange. But I was like there... I was like... I hadn't even gained my second level yet. And I was like there... I had barely any ammo left after shooting those fucking cave rats. And they wanted me to take on force rad scorpions. I died. I died so fucking fast. I could not. I barely had time to see the screen. Well, yeah, four four rad scorpions will do that to you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I think I survived one barrage, but then uh, the poison got me instead. So, mm -hmm. and and each of them struck me two times, I think. So yeah, I, I th at that point I was just like, and they call this game good. Good games would not allow this. Yeah, I, I get I get what you mean. A lot of people, I I, I even do this too. I know I, I have to for some things. The, the nostalgia glasses for things where, yeah. oh man, these old games are so much better. And a lot of them, a lot Aren't. of them were really were really bugged, or their <laughs> their gameplay aspects to them yeah. that were pretty bad. Yeah, uh, that's not saying that we should like completely throw these retro games away because there are a lot of things i mean look at fallout and look at the writing the writing uh, is superb especially in the second game uh, oh so, yeah you know, 
you know, you could take that part of the game and sort of like try to put it back into the games because they sort of lost that because Fallout 3 was absolutely horribly written. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it wasn't that and, good. No, and Brotherhood of Steel, the game for the PS2 and Xbox, was, oh my god. <laughs> I, I I avoided that one, actually. Yeah, I didn't. I was, like, in one of these Fallout crazes, and I was like, shit, I have to try this game out. I mean, it's Fallout. It can't be that bad. Uh, but yeah, it was. It was terrible. It was absolutely well, horrible. I think maybe that's that's part of it, is the, the old games and stuff. Like, people remember them for, like, their stories and their dialogue yeah. and all that stuff, and then they kind of forgive the really horrible gameplay <laughs> because the guys really couldn't do anything different. No. You know? I, yeah, I definitely agree with that. So my point with this discussion is to kind of like try to say that yeah, retro games were kind of good, but you know we st- still have to move forward. Uh, we can't get stuck. Um, yeah, I I agree with that. Uh, I think um, I think some companies take that philosophy a little bit too too far, maybe. Uh, by moving forward or being stuck. Well, moving forward, it seems yeah. like. They they can get in, they can get into wanting so badly to push to the new level of technology and push to the new graphical level that they forget that they're supposed to make the game fun at some point. Gee, I'm just I don't know why I keep thinking of Crisis, but yeah. I didn't play it because my computer couldn't run it. <laughs> no, neither could mine. But I uh, I got a new computer recently and I tried it and I was like, yeah, wow, this game is boring. Why am I playing this again? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think I think like there was a patch there. I I think gaming companies are getting out of that now. But there was like a patch there where everyone was just scrambling to have the shiniest looking player models, and they were like forgetting that they had to code a game for these player models to work into. Bah. So the games just end up sucking really badly. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think there's sort of a. You can have both. You can have the best of both worlds, where you sort of have some companies that just try to push the technical barrier or limit, because that has to be done as well. I mean, we want to push out of this. Uh, you want to push forward, but at the same time, you have to like take care of the old. Think of the old, and you know, take care of the old. I mean, I really love old games. I mean, for God's sakes, I'm playing arcade games from the '90s. I love games. I love old games. Uh, yeah, that's that's what always disheartens me sometimes with these. Um, I, I I guess I'll throw the the young youngsters under the bus. All these young kids. <laughs> yeah, push them under the bus. <laughs> that's right. I'll help but, you. <laughs> but they they're like they're like you, you try and talk about these old games and they just like look at them and be like, oh man, those people look like blocks. That game sucks. <laughs> they look like clay. Why are there claymations? Why why are, why is the clay talking? Yeah, it's it's like. You have to look back at those old games and kind of know, realize what impact they had yeah. on games now and how good they were and still are in terms of gameplay at the very least, even if you don't like how they look. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, take a game like Doom. I love Doom. I still play Doom. Uh, D-O-O-M, not Dune. Doom. For you people Doom. 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 Out you go. <laughs> that was Invader Sim for those of you who didn't get that. I I got it. Yay! I've, I've got all the seasons on DVD. So. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like Doom One. I like, still played. I I think the game yeah. plays great, and yeah, there are flaws in that game. But every game has flaws. Well, its controls in terms of modern <laughs> FPS games is completely horrible. What you mean? You can't look up and down. Yeah, and turning is not great either. Well, I mean, then you have to look at playing games like Wolfenstein 3D, where turning really was half an hour job. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, since we talked about Paul's videos earlier, he thought he mentioned he made fun of that in one of his little skits where he's stuck in the the Wolfenstein world. Oh yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah. oh my god, the turning! Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I laughed so hard because you know the game I was playing the for the Let's Play. It's based on the Wolfenstein 3D engine, and it's the exact same thing. 